Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? This is to my very special friend that uh, bought my very first painting. But this is to everybody around the world. And right now, the whole world is experiencing the exact same thing. We know this. And what that is, is the unknown. And the unknown causes fear. And fear causes confusion, panic, and us to do and make very, well, let's just use the word erratic decisions. There's a time and space in our lives. We're born, we die. And everything else in between is an unknown. And it's designed that way to keep you in fear, keep you confused. They don't think you're sheep. You are sheep. We are a food source. Okay. The fear is the energy. The more we keep ourselves in fear, the more the confusion that comes into your life, which creates the food itself. The whole world right now is having a chance to escape the prison of fear and move forward regardless of what is happening on this earth what will happen tomorrow, or what will happen next year. The only thing that matters is what happens in your life, in your mind, and keeping the fear out will keep it biblical. Have you read the story of Passover? They passed right over the ones that God chose. And it's not God chose all of us, chose us all. But we must choose, we must choose to break free from the fear. What's the worst that can happen? A temporary pain. A lifetime of pain and misery. It's temporary. It's a point from here to here. If you believe in guardian angels, if we've all had this experience. If you understand in me at this particular moment and got to this far, you have had the experiences in your life showing that there's a battle of good and evil. And the good saves your Every single time it saves you. It's there for your choosing and choice to find the strength to stand in God's armor and chase the fear not only away in your life, but to be able to stand up and glow and shine for the world to see so they run like rats. You're not doing this for you. You're doing it for the world. You're doing it for just one other person. And it's not you. This is not personal against you, my girl. I realize and that's what I'm trying to do. It's not you and you and you and you and you and you and everyone that sees this has the choice to break free. You know I'm not making this up. You've seen so many Hollywood movies talking about this to keep you in this fear. The whole world is going to change. How can it not? It's already changed. Everything's going to change. It cannot stay the same. Your mind's not going to stay the same. The whole world will talk about the same thing, this, this moment in history for as long as anyone born and living through this. 
good or bad. No matter what happens, good or bad, everyone's going to experience something and their thoughts are going to create their reality going forward. And the more you stay in fear, the more you're going to see and experience fear and violence. And therefore be a part of the plan. The plan that's been around for thousands of years. Maybe millions of years, huh? There's people like us that have been able to study enough of the things that are just obviously around in our oh boy in our face throughout the world that we know that our history might be a little different than what they teach us in schools and what the most of us of the populace think of course there was an agenda 21 of course there's tunnels underneath there. Of course they're getting ready to exterminate people. Of course. That's been the plan. We knew that. So why when it's happening right now are you afraid? What's the fear? You already know it's coming. You already know it's happening. Does this make sense? There's nothing to fear. All they want you to do is fear. And the ones that fear and scare the most are going to die. They're going to kill themselves. They're going to make the dumbest choices. They're doing it to themselves already right now. They're so scared. Okay. So the only way anyone's able to survive a crisis is through logic, level head, and accept what's happening and then react and move to, okay but not predetermined and having this fear and running around trying to figure everything out at the last second there's nothing to figure out at least not out there this is the only place you need to figure it out so this is all my friends family anons patriots no fear. God loves you and God loves me. Amen.